Well, here we are. We've got the same little list on the board here uh, of uh, these two items, and uh, we did come up with a term, I think, for each one. Uh, these are commonly called fruits, and these are commonly called vegetables. But then uh, we have a little problem. Um, what's a fruit? Why do we call these things fruits? And so uh, several suggestions were uh, uh, proposed. Uh, maybe uh, sweet things uh, grow on a tree. We kind of, you know, we kind of saw those might have a little problem. And so uh, one of the uh, best candidates, I think, for what a fruit is, is uh, something that has seeds inside. And so uh, let's think about that a minute. Do all these things have seeds inside? Well, yeah, I think most of them do. Uh, I might have a little problem here with bananas. Uh, you go to the grocery store to buy bananas, do they have seeds inside? No, they don't. They sure don't. We'll get back to bananas in a minute. But I've gone to the grocery store and uh, bought seedless oranges and seedless grapes as well. And uh, so what about those? If we're going to use these definitions, are we? Uh, I guess we'll be able to call those fruits if they have to have seeds inside. Well, let's uh, let's think about oranges and grapes. Um, obviously, oranges and grape oranges and grapes usually have seeds, and uh, when they don't, what do you assume? That's the way it normally happened, or is that uh, or is that maybe a people trick? Yeah, I think they do something to those poor oranges and uh, grapes. And so uh, we won't count that against oranges and grapes. If we're going to go with this definition, uh, I think we can, uh, you know, consider normal oranges and grapes that haven't been tricked, uh, and uh, not worry about the ones that don't have seeds. Uh, bananas, we'll get to back to in a minute. But let's think about something else. Uh, I've got this little poster here, which I'll try to hold up to where you can see it all right. And uh, what we have in this poster, you can see down at the lower. Right, I guess, is an apple. Been cut open, it has seeds inside. But uh, what's on the apple tree before there's an apple? Well, uh, it's an apple blossom, a little flower. And at some point, the petals fall off the flower, and something inside the flower gets bulgy, 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 gets bigger, 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 and then you have the apple on the apple tree. So the apple replaces a flower, or develops from a flower, you might say. And so, uh, uh, maybe we could add this to our definition of fruit, tighten it up, make it a little tighter, and say a fruit uh, comes from a flower. It comes from a flower. All right, and so apples come from a flower. What about uh, cherries? Are there blossoms on the cherry tree before there's cherries? There sure are. What about bananas? Do bananas make flowers? Well, I don't think they're very pretty, but they sure do. Uh, here in Oklahoma City, uh, you can go down to the uh, Myriad Gardens, and uh, there's a big glass tube there, very big glass tube, Crystal Bridge, I believe it's called, and uh, they've got one or two big old banana trees in there, and if you walk along the upper catwalk uh, at the right time, you will see some banana flowers, and if you come back a while later, you'll see bananas. So bananas have flowers, and so do the rest of these. There's flowers on the, uh, on the tree or whatever uh, before the fruit appears. And uh, so they come from a flower, and they have seeds aside, inside. Uh, yeah, what about bananas, though? Let's think about them. Um, you go to the grocery store and buy some bananas. You don't have to spit them out. You don't have to avoid them. Um, they ain't there. And so uh, is this uh, the way bananas really are? We, if we use this definition, we, we, uh, we're not going to be able to count bananas uh, as fruit? Or is this another people trick? Well, I think it is a people trick. Uh, some time ago, I'm not sure how long, somebody figured out how to take two different varieties of bananas and, and uh, cross them and make a hybrid that still made the banana, it's, but it's non-fertile. It doesn't produce seeds. So another people trick. And uh, so what I have read, and I believe everything I read, of course, is that out of the jungle someplace, I think it's that direction from here, um, the jungle, um, bananas do have seeds, and so I guess the monkeys either swallow the seeds or spit them out or something. So if we count normal bananas uh, and count uh, normal oranges and grapes and so forth, 
and we uh, we are agreeable today. I mean, we're going to be agreeable on the first day of class, right? We're going to agree to this definition for now. A fruit is anything that has seeds inside and comes from a flower. Then every single every single item on this list fits this definition and is a fruit. One thing I guess does not is my little stapler here. As you see, I was a little concerned about this little guy being as hungry as I am, whether it's a fruit or not. But now, pretty sure this guy didn't come from a flower. And I don't think those are seeds inside, so I don't know. I have to get something else for lunch. And uh, so it's now time to consider list number two. Let's go back to the lesson and uh, read a little bit before we get our maybe next video snippet or something. All right.